So here we have the Toyota Yaris on a 68 plate. So I'm going to start off by hopping inside the car and running through some controls first of all. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. Over on the left-hand side, we have uh, what would be the rev counter. It will show you whether you are charging the hybrid motors, driving in eco mode, or using the power band for the car. Um, in that section, you've also got the uh, cool and temperature gauge, and it shows you that the car is running and currently in electric vehicle mode as well. On the right-hand side, we have the speedometer and fuel gauge. In the center, the main trip computer, which includes the total miles of this car, they are 25,994. And our digital readout for the speedometer above that. You can change that information for various bits of trip computer and fuel economy info. And the buttons to do that are just here. We have cruise control and then stereo controls up here as well. In the center, the main touch screen for the car. So uh, we're on the audio menu at the moment where you can see we've got AM, FM and DAB radio, Bluetooth audio. And on the next page, iPod and USB input as well. Uh, down in the bottom right-hand corner here, we've got uh, our phone controls. So we're not going to connect the phone at the moment, but you'd normally select yes from there and connect your phone using the phone itself and the information that comes up on this screen. We've also got a color reversing camera with guidelines to show you what direction the car is headed in as well. Below that, it's turned off at the moment, we have our climate control. So it's dual zone climate control. You can turn it on and adjust the fan speed from here. You can adjust your passenger temperature, driver temperature. You can determine what direction you'd like the air to be distributed in. And when you're happy with those settings, your air conditioning is on at the moment. So that's off, back on again, or hit auto. The car will now maintain those temperatures by taking control of the fan speed and the direction of the air for you. You can override that manually and you'll see auto has now gone off. You can put it back on whatever setting you want it on here as well. Underneath that, we have a 12 volt charging socket, our USB and auxiliary inputs, the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox, and then these controls here. So you can force the vehicle into electric vehicle mode if there's enough charge. We can put the car in eco mode and we can turn the traction control on and off from there as well. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see this ULES compliant car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to call either of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.